Do you hear that? That's the sound of people together, talking, gathering for a good cause. While I'm missing those sounds today, I'm excited about our first online Gift of History event that allows us to welcome even more people, and I want to thank all of you for taking time to join us. The Gift of History event is where we invite our community to support the museum's exhibits, educational programs, and preservation of its objects and archival collections. This is the museum's largest fundraising event, and I want to take a moment to thank our leaders and table captains of this peer-to-peer -peer campaign. They started this campaign and inspired others to support the CSPM. We appreciate your help in spreading the word and want to recognize you. I also want to announce another leader, the Helen McCaffrey Charitable Trust. Helen McCaffrey was a native of Colorado Springs, passionate about preserving our history and places, and instrumental in the museum's growth. After her passing in 2017, she left a legacy in Colorado Springs. Starting today through Monday, August 31st, the Helen McCaffrey Charitable Trust will match every new donation up to $20,000 in order to encourage others to preserve the history of the Pikes Peak region. Before we get started with the program, I have a tradition. During each Gift of History event, I take a photo from the podium at the Antlers Hotel. I'd like to ask that each of you share a photo of where you're watching this video in the comments and use the hashtag GOH2020. We miss seeing each of you in person, but are excited to see everyone participating in this special event. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Mayor John Southers. Thank you, Matt, for allowing me to be part of this virtual event. Some of you may know that I have a personal passion for history and particularly our local history. That's partly because I've lived here all my life. I can remember when Circle Dry was a dirt road. It's been incredible to watch our community grow. And right now, we are most definitely experiencing historic developments. As I've said before, we must not think of history only in the past tense and lose sight of the fact that we're presently engaged in the task of making it. The Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum not only serves as the source of our local history, but it's also there to preserve the stories unfolding right now. Your support is vital to this mission. I want to remind you that 2021 will also be an historic year as we celebrate our city's sesquicentennial. Please stay connected with the museum and the city to find out about exciting programs and tributes planned to commemorate our 150th birthday set for July 31st, 2021. Speaking of programs, it's my pleasure to introduce a virtual tour of the museum that highlights what goes on behind the scenes. Your generous support today will make it possible for us to continue preserving and sharing our cultural history. Thank you again. Making sure the sculptures are cared for in Alamo Square Park is one of the jobs you may not know about. This is the kind of work that makes the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum shine. You can learn a lot about these sculptures and more during an outdoor tour before you even step inside. You may already know about our welcoming staff and volunteers and our wonderful exhibits, but there are places unseen by the public that make all of this possible. This museum has been a collecting institution since 1896. That collection includes more than 70,000 artifacts and continues to grow. Each donation is processed and cataloged, ensuring the historical information stays with each artifact. Taking photographs helps with documentation and providing access through the collection database. Many of the manuscripts, maps, blueprints, and more are also digitized for online access. Collection items not on exhibit must be carefully stored for preservation purposes but easily accessible for research and future displays. The home of our renowned collection of Van Bruegel pottery is a dedicated vault with compact shelving. All of this work and storage makes it easy to find the items we need when it's time to prepare them for an exhibit. It's important to remember that our building, the 1903 El Paso County Courthouse, is our largest and most complicated artifact. We're constantly working to make it welcoming, safe, and well-maintained for the benefit of the collections and our visitors. Just as the story of our history continues to unfold and evolve, so does the hard work behind the scenes at the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum.
As you can see, a lot goes on behind the scenes at the CSPM. We hope you enjoyed journeying through how the CSPM works day to day. Another important part of the museum is our supporters. We consider all of you as part of the CSPM family. We ask many of you to share, in your own words, why you believe in the gift of history. The Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum is important to our community because it brings us together and makes sure that everybody feels represented in history. Once you get to know your place, then you, you it's a part of who you are, right? You, you feel grounded, you feel connected to the community, and it's, uh, it is part of your very identity. So Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum and the Archives, a placemaking institution. I very much appreciated the thoughtful and detailed way that my father's history was collected. I thought his story was so respectfully handled. I believe that Leah and the Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum staff truly understood the value of his contribution, past, present, and future, and particularly for young people of color in our community. Colorado Springs history is fascinating. And for me, it's personal. My great-grandfather, Ed Giddings, came here about the time the city was founded, chasing the cure of his tuberculosis. A lot of other people came here chasing the cure. And it's a fascinating story to tell here in the beautiful city the Sunshine Gallery. They've worked very hard to create a fun, comprehensive, interactive experience for all of its visitors. And the Junior Docent Program has just allowed me one other way to connect with the history of the Pikes Peak region. The museum was a great place for me to come and be myself and allow myself to become a better person because when I changed schools, I really went into a shell that I wouldn't really talk to anyone. So it helped me grow and learn how to come out of that. Our family came to Colorado Springs in 1974. And one of the first places we went was the Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum. The Pioneers Museum is a centerpiece for telling the rich stories of the residents of Colorado Springs. Please come to the Pioneer Museum, support us. It's an amazing cause, and we hope to see you here. Thank you so much for supporting the museum today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us at the Gift of History. My name is Leah Davis Witherow, and I'm the museum's curator of history. I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a difficult year, a year filled with history, and in challenging times we turn to museums as a source of strength, a source of inspiration, uh, a place where we can connect to people in the past, people in our community who too have struggled through challenges. And for the past few months, the exhibits team of the CSPM has been working hard to design and develop our newest exhibit, COS at 150, commemorating Colorado Springs 150 years. The exhibit, I'm delighted to say, opens up early. Uh, it's not being canceled, it's actually opening up early. We had originally scheduled it to open in July of 2021, but because we feel like our community needs this exhibit, we need to be able to connect to our past and see a path forward, we're opening it up on January 30th, 2021. And we've decided to focus on the stories that make Colorado Springs history unique and compelling. People that can inspire us, can um, delight us and surprise us. So we're featuring 150 stories for 150 years. And the exhibit will essentially cover the history from 1871 right up into the present. Now, prior to 2020, we thought the ending of this exhibit might look a lot different, but of course now we're dealing with challenges in our community as a result of COVID, the economic, political, and social challenges that have all come about as a result of the global pandemic. And we'll talk about that in our exhibit too. But today I'd like to share one of my favorite artifacts. And in fact, we're calling it artifact number one. And we, we chose this artifact last year when we heard an amazing story of someone who grew up in our community and continues to live here. And that story is of Frank Macon, Franklin Macon. Frank Macon grew up, he was raised by his maternal great aunts. He grew up on Pine Street 
on the near west side of Colorado Springs. He was born in the 20s and he went through, his, he and his family went through the Great Depression and the outbreak of World War II. As a young man, Frank Macon loved to take things apart. Clocks, radios, engines. He was fascinated with how things worked. Something that challenged him was reading and math. He had dyslexia, but of course at the time they didn't have that word in the vocabulary. He just knew he had a learning disability, so school was tough. But when he got to put his hands on things, that's when the world came alive to him. As a young boy, he took airplane rides at the old Alexander Airfield north of town. He flew in an Alexander aircraft at the age of four, and from then on, he dreamed of becoming a pilot. And while struggling in school, he continued to keep that dream alive by volunteering at local garages and learning how engines worked. In high school, at, at Colorado Springs High School, he actually joined the Civil Air Patrol. And then, after the outbreak of World War II, he joined the Army Air Corps, and he went off to Tuskegee to become one of the famed Tuskegee Airmen. The object, the story that we'll be sharing in the COS at 150 exhibit is Frank Macon's beautiful Tuskegee Airmen jacket. This artifact is so recognizable that when Frank wears it in public, people come up to him and thank him for his service, and they ask him about what it was like to be a Tuskegee Airman. Frank Macon represents what's best about Colorado Springs, what's best about our country, and his story serves as an inspiration. That's just one of the artifacts you'll find in our new COS at 150 exhibit. But there's room for 149 more. So this is where we need your help. What stories, what artifacts, what people and events do you want us to focus on? We know you have your ideas, whether you've lived here two years, 20, or your entire life. What matters to you about our community's history? What stories do you want to see? What examples do you want to read? If you have ideas, favorite artifacts, people, or stories, please email me at leah.withrow at coloradosprings.gov. We can't wait to, to see what, you, what stories you want included, and we can't wait to see you at the museum soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you soon. We hope you enjoyed this virtual look at what's happening at the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum. Please share it with others who may be interested. Our entire team thanks you in advance for any financial support that you're able to offer. The campaign will end on August 31st. Donations made up to that date, up to $20,000, will be matched dollar for dollar by the Helen McCaffrey Charitable Trust. Please give the gift of history today. We hope to see you soon at the museum.